Hi, this is T. Payton. I'm in Final Cut 10.2.1, and I wanted to show you a little bit about our visual effects workflow or even repair workflow. So here is a project that um, we've got some drone footage in Italy, and it had problems. So let me show you this. So first of all, um, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a smudge right here on the lens, which was a big bummer that we had to deal with that. So we had to deal with the smudging. The other thing is we had some pretty significant flashing. I don't know if you can see that as well. That was happening. This particular Sony, uh, for some reason, has this flickering problem. So we used uh, DH reincarnation to get rid of this little smudge, which worked out beautifully. And we did that here. And here is the shot without the smudge. Nice. And the way we did that is we went ahead and made a compound clip and re-exported out the whole clip repaired because we didn't know what we were going to use. And this thing's useless with, with its little smudge on there. And then what we did is we started using it inside our edit. And as we used it in our edit, we realized um, we had to enable the fl flicker free uh, plugin, which is unbelievable. <laughs> you should try it out um, if you look at this. But anyway, the problem with Flickr Free is that it's quite slow to play back. As you watch here, we're getting, you know, two frames a second during playback. Well, we need to edit quickly, and we also like to export this quickly. So this is our workflow. So we'll grab an effect like this, a clip. And uh, first of all, we'll just get the name of it because we want to name it the same thing in the compound clip. So we're going to right click on this and wow, this is really sluggish with Flickr free going on. And then we usually call it FX or CCFX, something like that. And um, again, same clip, but now everything's baked in, not baked in, sorry. Everything was brought into the compound clip. So from here, we'll go ahead and just export. And notice, we just have the portion that's used. We could add a handle if we wanted to on the right-hand side. You want to be careful about adding a handle on the left-hand side. And then we can go ahead and uh, export that out. So, and like I said, we could just go ahead and exp make it a little bit longer. So we'll export our ma master file, and ProRes LT is fine. Now, I'm not actually going to do this because it takes like six minutes to do this eight second clip. Um, but we got a repaired version of it. And then we just bring it in and drag it right on top of this one. Just place it correctly on there. And then we turn off this one. OK, excellent. So now go back to our edit. And we play back. And everything's just hunky dory um, and fine, just like we need it. Now, usually, this will happen toward the end of the edit that we'll be wanting to repair this kind of footage. So we'll go through and make these revisions like this. Now, if we have something that's a little more significant as far as repairing is concerned, um, for example, let's say audio that we're going to be sending out to, uh, we really need to run through, say, RX4, for example. Now, can RX4 run inside a Final Cut? Yeah, sort of. Um, but again, why do it? Why add the extra overhead of it processing every time if we don't want bad audio? So um, in this case, got a multi-angle multi, um, clip in the angle editor. And we will get, here's our H6 recording. And we'll go ahead and just reveal that in timeline. Uh, I'm sorry, not reveal in timeline, but we'll reveal in the finder. And then we'll just go ahead and open that up in RX4, for example, perform the repair, save it out, and then bring it back in. And then we've, oops, whoa, <laughs> it's going crazy. Um, bring back in that RX4 cleaned up footage, because again, why do we want the non cleaned up version? Um, bring it in there. We keep the old version as well. We'll just not use it. So in this case, look, I have an angle called H6 and another one called H6. Rx. Now, if I was just if I already did the edit and I was just replacing it, obviously I'd put this um, Rx version in this area. So, using reference clips, 
really lets you have this great flexibility of almost making revisions on your repair work or your visual effects work and bringing those in uh, back to your main edit. Um, so now, even though I have RX4 dialog uh, denoiser and I have Flickr free running on here, it's crazy fast because it's pre-rendered in a way. And I know I'm gonna have no problem um, getting this out when I need to um, on deadline. So hope this helps.